In this video, I'm going to show you a announce kit. We're going to set up for a new trial and walk through the whole back end and set up a little change log page. So stay tuned for this video. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today we're going to look at this product called Announce Kit. AnnounceKit.app is the website and this is a tool to keep your users your leads your your website visitors up to date if you have a product this is where you can build a change log for your product and we talked about products like this before these this is very similar to like a headway or a beamer get beamer.com if you look at our videos that we've done in the past on those i think the best way is to look at their website and just the, you, you, they have a great example method to see for example account badge with pop-up widget you get a little icon on your website you got two new updates you click it and you're able to see what the updates and the announcements that you have that's a very nice style the sidebar widget let's click that you'll see it pops up the sidebar on your website and they've got a lot of other ways to line widget and if i were to click on let's click on their change log You'll see it's a very nice style page, uh, custom domain, SSL. And you can go through and look. It's got uh, who posted it. It's got images. It's got animated GIFs that are supported. And a lot of great features, even categories where users can quickly go through and see the information that they want. So this is great for keeping users up to date. It looks like it's a pretty affordable pricing model, free. That's always good. But even the pro where you get into some of those custom domains and white label and things like that is, is reasonably priced. Definitely when you compare it to some of the competitors in this space. Let's go ahead and start a trial and get inside and check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with my TechSmart Boss email. Let's give it a password and create a brand new account and see what their onboarding is. All right. So project name. Let's just call it TechSmart Boss. We'll put our website in there. So far, so good. This is looking pretty easy. And create a project. And we're there. All right. I love it. Um, seven day trial period. That's great. I think we're going to have access to the pro features while we're in the trial. And this looks like a pretty clean dashboard. I can I can create a new post. Let's go take a look at what we've got here. Here are the widgets that uh, oh very nice nice little easy style way to create widgets embed those on websites pop up sidebar direct link very intuitive you can set your colors the delay on when it shows how often it auto refreshes let's take a look at your settings this is where we can okay if it's pro white label oh now that's now you notice i did not actually upload my um my logo we pulled that from the website that is really nice i'm impressed with that Google Analytics already included in there. Let's take a look through that. This is where you can make your labels, custom labels. So if I wanted to do something that wasn't even related to product, maybe I wanted to put in my how-to videos. I could add that very easily. Let's go ahead and save that. Looks like you can collaborate with others on your team. Have a public feed. This is the way you can do your subscription. Now, this is one thing I noticed. They actually allow you to import from some of the competitors headway and github so that's nice and then integration zapier you can't get any better than that so that's a wonderful feature right there now let's actually go look at the public feed is this where i guess this is where i could do my custom domain so again that's a pro feature and they've got even some additional options where you can hide from search very nice i mean this is this is well done let's take a look there so let's go ahead and make a quick post and see how that process works so i'll just call this uh, the amazing new widget and put some text and it looks like you could use markdown for formatting so that should be a bold on the star there and I think there's some underscore now I want to see if I can there's a reference file there if we wanted to um, let's see I've got my labels there that puts that there perfect got the post by so that's where your collaborators can come into play I've got uh, the ability to backdate stuff that's nice that's not always uh, possible there. Let's go ahead and save that as a draft. Now let's, I wanna edit this and I wanna see what is the markdown reference for adding in a link. There it goes right there. And so this is pretty straight, actually it's two stars for bold text. 
so I had that wrong but pretty easy to do and I think if I uh, go back up here and click on this it'll show me what I've got there it is just that easy you'll notice without the white label it's got the created by there it's got my logo already put there. it's got my website here it's got my extra item that I added there and um, up I, I, you know what I must have saved that as a draft I did let's go ahead and edit that again and uncheck save as draft and publish that post there we go and now let's view that again and there it is so super simple and and very easy and gives you a great way with the widget settings they have here to put this any place on your website that you would want embedding it sharing it and all those examples on the web page so this is a great option for your business check it out uh, announcekit.app and if you like videos like this be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check us out on Facebook we put out a video per week and stay tuned for the next one